Curling is back at the seaport. Lanes open in November right near one of the holiday market entrances on 85 Northern Avenue. People of all ages can reserve playtime online or walk up to try the sport. And that's exactly what many families did on Black Friday. We discovered this nice market and it has a nice area of curling, so we decided to get in line and play with the kids. That's my son over there trying curling for the first time and we're having a blast. According to the World Curling Federation, the professional sport involves two teams pushing stones on ice and using brushes to influence where they land on a target for up to 10 rounds. Curling made its Olympic debut in 1924 and it was given official medal status by the 1998 Games. And that's how most people came to know the sport. I started on the Olympics and I uh, thought it was like kind of a funky sport that I'd never seen before and I was like, like, hey, I wonder if there's anywhere I can try this out. Paul Wilhelm Aronofsky is one of the founders of the North End Curling Club. The group hosts Learn to Curl events at the Seaport every Saturday to teach other curious Bostonians. He says the purpose of Learn to Curl is to improve local accessibility to the sport. Because a lot of the clubs in the area are within driving distance, uh, but we wanted to create something that was accessible for the citizens of Boston, where they may not have a car, you know, it was tea accessible right here in the city. If you're looking to get involved in all of the curling fun that's happening here, you have until February every day to come in and try it out. Here at the Boston Seaport or Snowport, I'm Stephanie Joseph for BUTV.